No chemicals or preservatives, just 100% honest to goodness hickory smoked meat. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Boy, some chicken wings have really hit the spot. You ain't got no better food like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something? Look at that, just two guys talking, am I right? He's just talking. Hey, howdy, hey! Welcome to the number one barbecue podcast in the northern Utah area, still the heavyweight undisputed champion. Undisputed heavyweight champion. Probably sounds better if we do it that way, huh? Uh, as long as it said heavyweight, I think it's accurate. Yeah, I think that has to be in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Can't have a show called Fat Guys with Smokers and play in the featherweight division. Yeah, that'd be embarrassing, frankly. Uh, I'm Mike here with John. Thanks for... Thanks for tuning in, all you fat guy faithful. Not calling you fat, but you're faithful to us fat guys. So, I don't know. John, take over here. <laughs> I, no, it's kind of entertaining. I'm just going to let, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this roll. I'm going to let this roll. Anyway, uh, yeah, what's been going on, John? Man, uh, I have heard it called many a thing. Um, Maysember. Mm-hmm. Uh, May apocalypse. <laughs> That's what it really feels like. But please, can May just be over? Can school end? Oh Mike? my gosh, dude! I mean, not just all the crap that I have to do, but my kids have some dress-up party report presentation due every day, and I get it. I think teachers are just like, "This will take up time. Let's do this." What? <laughs> but I can't keep up with it all. Yeah, it's to the point where. Haley helps in the boys' classes, and she's the, what do they call them, room mom? Mm-hmm. The, like, head honcho yeah, mom. Yeah, the head, and, head room mom or whatever. In in Charlie's <clears throat> class. And they were, like, trying to find a day that didn't already have something to have the fifth grade, like, end of year hurrah. Mm-hmm. Couldn't do it. Yeah. So they're literally, <laughs> they're having a party, it. going into a, car, a school carnival, and then the next day is, like, Super Kids Day. I, I think yeah. it's the equivalent of, or it's supposed to be the equivalent of Field Day. Yeah, of Field Day. Mm-hmm. But it sounds like just pure chaos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's I, a hot mess. And I am uh, <clears throat> I am not here for it. Dude, we went into Rhett's class. He's in first grade. We went in for some end of year presentation. The teacher did a great job, but I left there just being like, I could never teach elementary school. Like, I, Yeah. I couldn't do with the energy. I couldn't say as positive as those sweet teachers are. So kudos I to can, my elementary counterparts. I can barely handle my own kids. Right? Can't imagine someone else's. Oh, seriously. Oh. Yeah. Um, but hey, uh, in this, and I had to find out through Instagram and Facebook, I'm a little disappointed, Whitney, that I didn't get an invite. Uh, but Mike was honored i was mike other than knowing that your students voted for you i don't know much else about this award so tell us i mean that's pretty much it this is a this is an award um that a the cash education foundation gives it to uh i think it's one high school teacher at every high school so the kids just vote on a teacher that has impacted them and I won it this year, so nice. And what, it was a big surprise. Like one of the teacher that teaches next door was like, "Hey, they need you at the assembly for crowd control," and I was like, "I don't want to go to the assembly." Anyway, I show up and they're reading off the all the senior scholarships, and then they get mm-hmm. to some teacher awards, and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool. This is you know, it's always good to see colleagues get recognized." And then they called my name, so and then once they called my name, I look over, my entire family is sitting over there never saw him they had whitney um they kind of contacted her and was like hey we want to keep it hush hush but if you want to come and bring the family so it was pretty cool that's awesome yeah pretty fun what's the name of the award the hansen i thought it was called something different i think they call it the hansen honorarium award nice so yeah very very humbling but also not something that I want to be like, hey, look at me. Every, you know what I mean? So, hey, I, 
but I it's think always it's pretty good cool to that, hear from the students. You yeah, know? you've got the respect of the students, which yeah. I remember being in school, and there were teachers that I respected and actually learned from, and then there were teachers that I was just like, do I have to put up with you? Yeah. So yeah. good on you, Mike. Well, thank you. Very Thank proud. you much. Very, uh, very exciting, but I hate being the center of attention, so it was kind of an awkward... Like, oh my gosh, I got to go up in front of everybody, uh, and, you know. And but, everyone cheers for you and makes you feel special. That's true. You probably had waterworks going. I, I, was, I was fighting them back, I'll be honest. But anyway, nice. quite an honor. Well, good. Yeah. Everyone, reach out to Mike. He's awesome. Uh, and he deserves to be recognized. Well, thank you. Uh, let's talk about barbecue stuff, though. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get into it, uh, because Monday, can you believe it's Memorial Day already? No, dude. It feels like it was New Year's yesterday. Listen, I know this I was... has been the longest but shortest year of my life. Like... Yeah. I know I've complained about May, mm-hmm. but it seriously has just flown by. Yeah, it has. It really has. Maybe it's because it's so busy that it's like, oh my gosh, we're already yeah. almost all the way through May. So... so. May, the unofficial kickoff to, uh, well, it probably is the official kickoff to barbecue season. Yeah, I think so. So, Traeger Day was unofficial. We, we should have brought our shades down. Oh, yeah. So, thank you to Traeger for hooking us up with a little bit of swag. That's always fun. Yeah. Um, but you and I were talking last week as we were wrapping up about how we were excited the grilling season was here. Mm-hmm. And we were both going to get to grill more. Um, man, I just did some pork chops tonight. Mm-hmm. They were slamming good. Nice. And they were so easy. I took a, took a pork loin that it was actually the other half that I did that cross hatch on. Yeah. Um, cut it into some skinny pork chops, threw a bottled teriyaki marinade on it for like 30 Ooh. minutes. Yeah. Haley did twice baked potatoes. Dang. And it was... Stupid good. And stupid cheap, too. Dude, pork loin. And, I mean, contrast that with what I did on Sunday. We got the big pork loin from wherever. Insert. It still works. Don't worry. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, uh, I think it was Costco. I can't remember. Anyway, we got that big pork loin. Mm-hmm. And I cut it in half. And I just did the one half. But I just seasoned the outside and smoked it up. The pork loin is just so bland, so I think that cutting it into those thin pieces and mm-hmm. marinating it sounds awesome, because it was good, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to get that flavor in just the huge thing. Yeah. How'd you cook it? Uh, I just smoked it on the the pellet grill for a couple hours at 275. Yeah. I was going to say, if you are just going to like, if you're going to do a big roast, I think you've got to go as low and slow as possible. And you really do have to stop at 140. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. it just turns into like the toughest, driest. Yeah, just, and that's, I pulled it at like 145. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan. I've done it before and it's been really good, but I think that that was part of it. And yeah. it just needs more more flavor. I've seen some guys injecting them and stuff, yeah. but. I've never really done a lot with injecting. I haven't either. I have an injector, but I haven't really used it that much. Yeah. I've got one that I've done on turkeys, but yeah. that's literally that's all I've injected I think the too. only thing I've injected. We injected a brisket, I guess, when me and my brother were doing the competition with uh, just tallow. And it was fine, but I don't know. Interesting. Anyway. All righty. Well, before we get into Memorial Day cooks and plans there, um, while Haley refuses to come down and be on the show with us. Boo! Uh, she has provided a couple of reels. She's been going through, and every time she sees an interesting reel, she's been sending it to the Fat Guys account. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we're going to do some real reactions. Real reactions. We need, like, a a sound bite for that. I know. Real reactions. <laughs> There's so many things that I want to do. <laughs> But, but so little uh, time to do it in. I wish that were true. I just yeah. am so unorganized. Ditto. All right. So let's go here into our inbox. Uh, and from what I understand, some of these are just interesting. Okay. Others she's expecting a visceral reaction to. Oh, that puts the pressure on. That makes me so, nervous. Okay. First up, uh, Temple Street Eatery and... 
Berea Rom. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I'm into it. I hate ramen. I think I could get behind this. This is interesting. I do too. The thing I hate about ramen, and come at me, folks, I don't think soup is a meal. Agreed. Brothy soup is not a meal. Yeah. I can Agreed. maybe get into it with a hearty stew that's got big chunks of potato and sure. meat and gravy. And a, a, a brothy <laughs> soup is a nice side or something to yeah. dip something in. Yeah. Yeah, like if I agree. if that's what we're having for dinner, like there better be a pot of rice and a loaf of bread just for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just that's that's the one thing that I've got a major opinion on mm-hmm. because I don't have opinions on anything else. Yeah, but I'm with you. This looks way better than what I think of when I think of ramen being brothy, no flavor to it. Yeah, so let's describe it for our listeners. So it looks like they're cooking the ramen in the Berea consomme liquid yep. thing. So they're they're cooking it in that. Then they add, uh, I saw some like there's, tortilla chips. Yeah, there's onions, cheese. Um, a little cilantro. Green onion. Big then, helping of, of the shredded Berea. Yeah, that and looks then they're, good. They're using the consomme as... As the broth. Yeah, a little of that. Looks like a hard-boiled or a soft-boiled egg in there, maybe. Yep. And, and a little lime juice. I'm into this. And tortilla chips. I can get behind this. This reminds me of some of the weird brothy uh, noodle concoctions that Hmong people used to feed me on my mission. And I was never excited until I ate it, and it was always amazing. So yeah, I can kind of reminds me of like this. a pho type of deal. Yeah, you ever had there pho? You go. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I like this... I would be willing to give that a shot. Yeah, I'm interested. So. Yeah. All right. This well one, done, Haley. Good find. This is a winner. Tag that as a winner. Put it in the winner's bracket. This next one I've seen, man. I've seen this too, I but I so don't many, think I could watch it all the I have way so through. many feelings. <sighs> and I know this is hard. If you're just listening on the podcast, you've got to come to, you've got to, come to YouTube for this one. This is going to be tough to describe. Favorite meal to make for family and friends. I yeah. start by placing my cheese balls into my crock this pot and adding a block of, cheese of Monterey Jack cheese. Now I'm going to add half a gallon of half and half. Good heavens. Follow that up with a stick and a half of unsalted butter. Now I'm going to use some <sighs> onion powder, oh. garlic powder, oh. turmeric, garlic, and crushed red pepper. Fancy. I also like to top with some More sharp cheese? cheddar cheese. Cook on Listen. high for an hour and a half, and then start to stir and oh. break your balls. I also like to break <laughs> up the cheese block. Cook for one more hour on high. Pour You're your pasta. My balls here. And now I'm going to put some pasta water into my cheese Why the and pasta blend. Water? Just to make it a little bit Time thinner, to put it all together. And then she mixes it all in. I'm going to mix that all well and top with some bacon and parsley. I think the bacon is Grab the only thing I can get behind scoop. on this. Take a bite and enjoy. Okay, so let's stop for a minute. Yeah. So she takes an entire tub of cheese balls, like yeah. a big Costco one, dumps them in. A puts huge a, brick of Monterey Jack. That's like a five-pound block of cheese. Yeah. A half gallon of half and half. A whole carton. Oh, my gosh. A stick of butter. Oh. Onion powder. Garlic powder. That was yeah. where I lost it the first time I watched it. Yeah. Another More bag of shredded cheese. cheese. Yeah. In the crock pot. Melts it down. It looks disgusting, John. I'm going to be honest with you. She uh, breaks balls. Breaks the balls. Breaks up the stirs cheese. Stirs it up. Lets it melt some more. Cooks pasta separately. Puts some of the pasta water in there, which, sweetheart, it's like that's not going to work. Like, just... you're trying to be fancy and like bind the sauce together with the pasta. I understand that idea, but... And then she, oh, dude, she's, just watching her scoop. It makes me makes me queasy. So I can, like, I, I listen. Can, I can maybe get there thinking about this as, like, I put breadcrumbs on top of my macaroni sure. and cheese. Yeah, so Give it maybe a little substance. Maybe that's the texture you're going for. And with maybe the that is balls? good, but you break up the balls and they get all soggy. Oh. They're just 
Oh. Hard. And listen, I said the same thing to my wife today. I am in zero position to give anyone diet advice. This looks like a heart attack waiting to happen. I mean, like, I yeah, I no. Oof. This is a hard pass for me. Yeah, I don't think I can get behind this. Okay, and I got to turn this off. Bless her heart. Yeah, let's not watch it again. It yeah, there's not a lot that makes me queasy. I don't know that I can do that one. All right. This last I've seen this one too. Okay. This goes fast, so pay attention. Okay, I'm ready. Right inside. Dumping a oh, can of Coke in the cake it's box. Sugar free cherry Coke. In the box. What is sugar free? Sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What was the plan? <laughs> so she just dumps a can of cherry Coke right, right. in the cake box well, mix. And I've seen this. Like, you can make. Coke you can, cake. You can make a cake. Yeah. By just mixing the cake, the cake mix with different sodas. But all... why, why in the box though? Uh, trying to save dishes. I don't know. I mean, man. I think we can all say that this was not a good activity. Yeah. So she dumps, she dumps the can of Coke <laughs> in the, in the cake box, which cardboard and soda, not a great idea. Mm-hmm. And then she sticks an electric hand mixer in there. It looks like an immersion blender. Yeah, I haven't seen one like that. That's got a whisk on it. One whisk that's way wider than the box, P.S. Sticks it in there, turns it on. And, and it just flings at her face. It's like a <laughs> it's like a modern art project. As the husband or boyfriend who is filming, I think he's smart enough to know. Yeah, what did he say? And sugar-free. Oh my god. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I mean, that's a lose lose situation for him. Anything he says is going to be wrong at that point. Oh, man. Huh. Interesting. So, all right. Anyways, I haven't seen that one. That was fun. <laughs> Those are, <laughs> yes, it was fun, Mike. Those are our, our three reels for, for this week. I like that. Haley, Whitney, get on that. That's kind of fun. We'll come back here to the big screen. Instead of doing legitimate <laughs> shout outs, we just start watching these reels and <laughs> reacting. Oh, I know. Hmm. And, I, and I'm sorry to the poor woman who made the cheese ball. Yeah, maybe that's a family favorite recipe, but. There are some family yeah. favorites that just shouldn't ever leave the family. Yeah, they need to just, yeah, die. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, Memorial Day. Yeah. What uh, what do you got planned, Mike? Dude, I've been thinking about this for a while. I have been uh, so focused on doing something edgy and different and trying new things. Um, and, like, I did a brisket on Mother's Day. It was great. I've done, you know, probably 100 pounds of pork shoulder over the last month or two. And today, I went to In-N-Out, which... Unpopular opinion, meh, you know, not a huge fan. However, I got a burger there, monster, no, animal, animal style. And it just made me think, dude, I love burgers. You are a huge burger fan. Dude, they're my favorite. And I have not made a good burger. I mean, I've made some and um, we've had some like we went up the canyon last Saturday and cooked them over the fire and. Mm. It was really good, and I'm not knocking it, but I love burgers, and I kind of just want to focus on my burger game for a little bit and just try some different things. I got the Blackstone. I want to do some smash burgers. Uh, I got the Weber. I mean, I haven't found anything better than a burger cooked over the Weber on charcoal. So um, kind of excited to try some different stuff with burgers. Nice. And there's so many things you can do with them. You know, you can take the flavors all over the place. Have you ever been to Morty's? Uh-huh. They got all kinds of crazy stuff that they put on burgers. Dude. And I took Whitney there one day. Obviously, she had a grilled cheese. And I was just like, man, <laughs> I should try to just do some weird stuff with burgers. So, uh-huh. if you're listening, comment some different stuff that you've done with burgers. Because I want to try just some new stuff. Have you Have you done the fried egg on a burger? I have. Huge fan. <clears throat> Huge fan. Brings it together. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's like uh, aioli, but it's just so mm. much better. It is good, man. So. Yeah. Good. 
Well, that's cool. I like yeah. that idea. That's kind of yeah. what, I've, what I've been thinking. That and brats. I haven't made brats for a while. Mm-hmm. I got really into brats on my mission in Wisconsin. People would, you know, boil them in beer and then cook them. So good. So. Well, I am a big fan of beer brats. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chicago. <clears throat> Holla at your boy. You've eaten, uh, you've eaten a brat or two down in there. Yeah, man. You know. The uh, the brat stop just over the border. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> the brat stop. Yeah, man. That was that was like a family tradition. We'd go up, just run over the border. We'd hit the brat stop, and I'm trying to remember the name of the town that it was in. Um, and then there were pumpkin patches all over up there that mm. we'd go pick our pumpkins. All right for, on. Yeah. Was it Kenosha? It's the only one I know no. that was close to the border. I spent all my time in the bigger cities. Although I did go to Sheboygan, which, unless I'm wrong, is the birthplace of Johnsonville Brats. So, in Sheboygan. Kenosha. It is in Kenosha. Yeah. All right. Right on. Yep. I've never been there. Let me make sure this is the right one. I imagine there's more than one. Nope, that's it, right there. There it is, man. That really is just over the border, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I never... I mean, I I drove through there on a train on my way to Chicago to the go to the Chicago Temple down there, but never really been to Kenosha. Nice. Um, hmm. I was going to say something. I forgot it. Uh, brats. Oh, Memorial hamburgers. Day. Yeah. Have you ever cooked your hamburgers in mustard? See, that's what they do, this animal style Yeah, animal thing. styles that way. So that's what I want to try. Um, I have not. White Castle uh-huh. cooks their sliders in, in mustard. Okay, so explain this process to me. Do they just throw it down and then put mustard on it? Or do they marinate it in mustard? Do they slather it and then, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know how In-N-Out does theirs per se, but White Castle, <clears throat> mustard on the grill, patty mm. down. Mm. Um, and White Castle, it's mustard and onions. Okay. And it's actually it pretty cool. It seems like animal style is. Yeah, they've got their sliders. Have uh, you been to White Castle before? I mean, once. It's been a long time. Okay, so White Castle, they, like, it is not a King's Hawaiian roll, but King's Hawaiian roll size. Yeah. Um, slider that they cook and they steam it in with this mustard and onions on mm. the grill and their burgers have little holes in them so that the steam comes up and oh really yeah huh. wicked good um but yeah squirt mustard throw the burger down squirt mustard on the top when you flip it over it like sears into the meat really so we're talking like on the blackstone now do you add anything else or is the mustard the main flavor like are we adding salt and pepper too yeah, I think are we so. adding a rub you know what i mean uh, yeah i'd go salt and pepper maybe okay. even a seasoning salt hmm. but i'm willing to try it because i'm pretty sure that's how this animal style was and yeah, it animal was a style's good and mustard burger. like i don't i i mean no hate for in and out but i just know so many people that would die f- to go to in and out and i'm it's fine you know but this animal style just got me thinking dude i need to I need to play with burgers a little bit yeah. more. I am a big fan of In-N-Out. Mostly because it's one of the few places you can get quality grilled onions on a burger. Mm, agreed. So, yeah, their fries are garbage. Yeah. Like, unless you're eating them at the restaurant animal style right there. Mm, animal style fries. Oh, uh, yeah, that dude. That sounds good. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Highly okay. recommend that. All right. So... Um, I don't know exactly what I have planned. I've got a couple of cooks that I'm doing for other people coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, one of which I don't know if we want to talk about that you're a part of. Oh yeah, let's do it. Um, so we're going to be at Heritage Days here in Nibley this year. Last year we were in the, in the parade. A certain individual refused to be in the parade again, but we still wanted to be part of the town and participate. So we're going to be at the family activities. I don't know what they call it. Oh, Anyways, shoot. We're gonna, I just looked at what it was called. I we're going to be at the park with the other food vendors um, selling pulled pork. Yeah. We're going to give it a shot. So, so come by, say hello, eat a Sammy. What day yeah. is that? June 15th? Yeah, I think it's... I think I just looked it up and it's that second week or I think. Yeah, it's always the middle weekend. of June. But let's see. Nibbly. Not Juneteenth. 
also that certain individual was me. I hated the parade. I'm sorry. I know. It June seventeenth. June seventeenth. Family festivities from eleven to two, and I think it's at Elkhorn. Yeah, that seems right. At Elkhorn. At least it was at Elkhorn last year. Seems legit. Elkhorn Park. Yep. So there it is. Come hang out with us. Check it out. If you have questions about where it is, reach out to one of us. Happy to um, let you know. Yeah, and we've even got a couple of stickers. Yeah. Left around that come tell us you listen to the podcast. We'll hook you up with some stickers. Yeah. So love it. And those stickers, man. You put them on, them on a water bottle. You can send that thing through a dishwasher. Oh yeah, they're high quality stickers. stickers still dude. on. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um. But anyways, so I've got that. I've got a, a graduation party I'm cooking for. And it's, I don't know that I've ever really taken the time to like weigh a pork shoulder before I cook it mm-hmm. or even before I trim it, trim it, cook it, and then like weigh portions out. Interesting. It's always just kind of been an eyeball thing. And uh-huh. so I'm going to do a couple of pork shoulders, measure things out, make sure that we've got ratios right. Cool. Um, so that we're prepared. And then I'll have pulled pork left over, which means you, you can do Swatchos. all sorts of things, man. We'll probably do some Swachos, probably do some Sammies. Um, my dad and I were just talking the other day, man. I've got a hankering for some Chili Verde. Mm. Man, and I want to try intense. some of your Chili Verde because you've talked about it and it sounds phenomenal. I've still never made it. Dude. I, uh, I think there's a high likelihood that that's what's happening this weekend. All right. So hit me up. I will. Got to go over to La Fuente and get my uh, tortillas. My tortillas. Dude, I still need to go hit that up. I know. I I talk such a big game with them. I need When I go this time, I'm going to talk to Anna and see if she'll let me come when they're making tortillas and like do, film it and do a little reel of it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I want to come. Okay. Cool. But um, I think that's what I've got coming in. So I need to do that with with a pulled pork. I also need to do it with a brisket. Hmm. I know I've never weighed a brisket after I've cooked it to see mm-hmm. what the loss is there. Yeah, uh, it's got to be significant. I got a quart of tallow, and I threw a lot away on the last brisket that I did. So yeah, I'm sure you lose quite a bit. Yeah, so hmm. I've got a got to think about that. I just it's been so long since I've done any like catering mm-hmm. um, where it's actually mattered what things weigh and stuff. So yeah, yeah. See, I've never done that. So I'm interested to learn it and figure it all out yeah. with you. So, so yeah, it will be cool. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do those. Not quite as big as Kendrick's uh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Benny's 26 pound, right? 26 pound bone in. But I've got a massive brisket upstairs in the freezer that my buddy gave to me. Oh, really? Yeah. They you get uh, that? They slaughter a couple of cows every year oh, in sweet. their family. And Dude. he's like, I have four of them. I don't know where to put it. I was like, uh, my house? Yeah. Like, like yeah. I'll eat it, man. That's awesome. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry you have too much brisket. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm let sorry me, you let have me to help suffer. out where I can. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the... It's the Christ-like thing to do. There you go. I like the way you think. So, yeah, I think I'm going to cook those this weekend. and Sweet. It'll be good. Well, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, part of the problem is I never know what we're doing. Like, I've been living my life day to day. So, there's a high likelihood that we're camping over Memorial Day. I don't even know. <laughs> so That's been, uh, you know. that has been one of the fun parts of being home more lately. Yeah. Like I've been in more of an active participant other than a, Hey, what sounds good for dinner? And I rattle off ideas and then I just show up at home. Right. Um, first of all, it has continued to reaffirm my stance of there is not enough money in the world to make me a stay at home dad. Mm-mm. Seriously. Nope. Ladies do not sell yourself short. Yeah. If you're the stay at home parent, good on you. You have Um, our full respect and support. If you're not the stay-at-home parent, make sure you get a life insurance policy because you cannot (laughs) replace them. Um, You're going to need a lot of money for daycare because it is brutal. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Hmm. So, but being home, like, 
I plan meals now, and I, like, mm. go to the grocery store. Heck yeah. That's weird, man. I bet you I hadn't been inside a Walmart or a grocery store for, like, grocery shopping purposes since before COVID. Mm. Actually, it was probably right before COVID hit in Utah. It was the Macy's case lot sale. Mm. And we we had had a bunch of people at work kind of get sick, and it was starting to be. And I was like, man, people are going to be stupid. Like, I'm just going to go hit the store. Mm-hmm. And the shelves were already kind of starting to get picked over. Yeah. And I bought some, like, beans. I bought a case of flour. And I think that was the last time I went to the grocery store for grocery shopping. Mm. Because then COVID hit, and then all of a sudden, you know, everything Online was. Online orders and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was all yeah. curbside pickup. Which is awesome. It's freaking fantastic. If, yeah, huge um, fan. But it's been interesting to like go and be like, oh, well, that's interesting. I never would have thought about trying that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good thing and a dangerous thing. But hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. So burgers. Yeah. Um, I think so. We'll try some new stuff. So hit me up. If you have any burger ideas or things that you've done and liked, hit me up. Maybe I'll put a thing out on Instagram or something and yeah. just have you comment. Comment on the YouTube video. Uh, comment on, can I comment on our videos on the website? It'll link them to, to just YouTube, YouTube, but you can write a blog article about your burgers. Oh yeah. Maybe I will. And that'll be there. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know how it goes. Speaking of the website, if you're still here and you haven't been bored of us yet, um, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And make sure you go sign up. We've had a couple of people sign up on the website for, uh, for updates on our email list, make sure you hit that up so that you don't miss anything there. Um, and I think I'm also going to, I'm going to play around with that. I, w- I was thinking about this earlier tonight that we should have like a Q and a section. Oh yeah. Because I think I've actually got a voicemail that somebody sent us that we never addressed. Oh really? So yeah, that'd be great. Sorry about that, but we'll, uh, and that would make for a much more interesting <laughs> episode too, if we could get enough Q and A. Yeah, we can get on. some Q and A going on. If yeah, we'll have be a awesome. check the mailbag kind of segment. Yeah. So, with that, oh, I was get, sorry. I just remembered. Please, I have a burger idea for you. Oh, shoot! This one is uh, straight out of the mouth of babes. Okay. Clay has been asking. For, he, I don't. I think he sees the like breakfast sandwiches uh-huh. with sausage and thinks they're hamburgers. Okay. I want a breakfast hamburger. Have you ever had the one at Carl's Jr.? Yes. Big fan. But I'm thinking like French toast is your bread. Oh. Candied bacon, maple syrup, fried egg, maybe some ham. I don't know. Okay. Some... All right. I went straight to bacon. Ham. That would be interesting. I like hash browns on there. Yeah. And a fried egg, obviously. Maybe you could make it. See, I'm more. I can't mix sweet and savory. It it stresses me out. Like having syrup on my eggs, can't do it. So, I'm wondering about like hash browns for your buns. You know okay. what I mean? Like fry them up good. Have that as the bun. I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't work. No, I could see it. Hmm. Okay. All Anyways, right. breakfast burger. Yeah, I love it. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Okay. Expect a real. Yes. Yeah. I have been lacking in my real game, so. Dude, I, I've i given up on the real game. Yeah. I posted a couple, of, and again, the like <laughs> three second reels <laughs> reach thousands of people. <laughs> Ones that I spend like major time like editing video footage. and Thinking about what you're going to do, making plans, never, yeah. Pretty sure my kids' trick shot videos got more views than my last one that I'd spent a lot of time want, on. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. Until next time, I'm John. <laughs> I'm Mike. We're Fat Guys with Smokers. Thanks for listening to the Fat Guys with Smokers podcast. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe so you don't forget to tune in for even more nonsense from a couple of Fat Guys with Smokers. Don't forget to like, subscribe.